All right, hey guys, so this is my three attempts at making non-petroleum jelly. I wanted to make my own lip gloss, but I don't want to use petroleum products like Vaseline or Aquifer or anything like that. So I went and I found, um, I chose a recipe. To make non-petroleum jelly, all you need really is two ingredients, beeswax and a carrier oil. Um, I chose castor oil because a lot of people have been saying that that's the best one um, to get a more jelly-like consistency. Um, but it, it depends on what ratios you use and what you do with the actual mixture, as you see here. This is my, this is my first attempt. Um, this was, I believe, this recipe called for an ounce of beeswax with a quarter cup of castor oil. Um, so the ratio was almost, it, it, it was almost the same, um, not really one for one, but it made it to where it was really thick. Um, I whipped this as well with my hand mixer. Um, some recipes call for whipping, some don't call for whipping, some just tells, tell you to pour the mixture into the jar and just let it harden on its own. This one it called for whipping so I whipped it and as you see it is actually a solid it looks like a cream and it actually feels like a body butter so this could actually act as a body butter you do see that it's very shiny um, it does it is shiny just like Vaseline so because it is an oil so it's just oil and beeswax so it all these will work you know just like Vaseline you know, w helping with dry, chapped lips, protecting and lubricating wounds and cuts and things like that. So, um, that was my first attempt. So, my next attempt, because I thought that, you know, this, the ratio I wasn't quite right on this one. So, I chose this ratio. This is actually the same, from the same batch. Um, this is 94% castor oil, 5% beeswax and it called for 1% of vitamin E. I didn't have vitamin E, so I just put 1% um, of sweet almond oil. So, it came out like this. I whipped it, because this, I thought it called for whipping with a hand mixer, um, so I whipped it. And as you see, it is a solid. It doesn't come out. Um, it's like a salve or a balm. It look that's what it looks like, but it's actually creamy too, just like this one. Um, it's actually a little bit more creamy though. So, but it it's the same. It's not you know jelly like or anything like that. So, what I decided to do is I decided to I had filled both of these jars. Both of these jars were like this, and I decided because with these. You know, I didn't have any additives in it. It actually smells like beeswax, which I absolutely hate the smell of beeswax, but I didn't want to add anything in it until I got the recipe down. I didn't want to waste any fragrance oils or anything. So, um, the good thing about this is that because it's such a basic recipe, you don't have to worry about burning off fragrance oils. You could always remelt it and do it again if you need to add more carrier oil or add more beeswax to change the consistency to what you like it. So. I took this jar and emptied it back out, remelted it down, and I was just gonna let it sit and let it harden on its own. Well, when I reread the directions, it didn't say to whip it with a hand mixer, it just says to whisk it. And you know, hand whisking it is completely different than whipping it with, with an actual machine. So um, that's what I did, because you don't have enough force, so that's what I did, and I actually came out with a jelly as you see this has been hardening for a couple of hours this is as hard as it's gonna get and it is actually a jelly and it's as you see it's not um, it's not like a, a white base or anything it is a little translucent and you see how it is like Vaseline it's a little bit more runny than Vaseline but it is pretty much like Vaseline. So um, what I'm going to do from now on is I'm just going to hand whisk it. Um, 
I whisked it for like five minutes. It says to do it for like ten, but I just I didn't want to whisk anymore. So I whisked it for like five minutes, and this is what I came out with. So this is definitely more like a jelly. Um, I will end up remelting this batch and do the same thing so I can get two jars of this. And I will put, you know, a fragrance oil in it. I'll probably just put, um, excuse me, essential oil. Probably just put lavender um, in one because I do want to use one for my son and he has sensitive skin. As well as my husband. I'm the only one that doesn't have sensitive skin. And this one, I'll, f I'll put, I'll scent it with whatever fragrance I want since I could use anything. So, um, and this I'm just going to probably just leave as is or scent it with something else. But these, this is like a body butter, so I'm just going to use it as a body butter for now. Um, but yeah, this is my three attempts to making a non-petroleum jelly. And of course, third time's a charm, apparently. So here is my jelly.